Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mitch. Almost a year ago, when my channel was really new, I did a short video on installing the awesome window manager in Linux Mint. And I thought today I'm going to redo that video. I'm going to do a better job at it. And I'm going to install it in the terminal rather than a software center and also of course if you've been following my channel you'll know that i always install the awesome window manager in my linux mint installations and pretty much in every linux distro installation i do but i thought i'd just make this short video and do a better job at it than i did a year ago so let's get to it I'm in a virtual machine of Linux Mint Debian. And if you don't believe me, let's just click on my terminal. Make it full screen. Let's do a Neo fetch. And there we are. I'm in Linux Mint LMDE6 Bay Linux Mint Debian. And of course, what I'm going to show you today would work in Linux Mint Ubuntu. And in any, all three flavors of Linux Mint, or should I say four flavors, if you want to include this one. And it will work in all of Linux Mint, and it will work in MX Linux, Antex Linux, Manjaro, pretty much any Linux distribution, this is going to work. So I'm going to clear the screen, and I'm going to type in sudo apt install. Oops. Awesome. Now, of course, if you're doing this in Manjaro, Arch Linux, Endeavor, or any of the Arch-based distributions, you're not going to do sudo app install. You're going to do, oops, sudo pacman capital dash capital S. Awesome. Just like that. But if you're in pure Debian, Linux Mint, Antex Linux, MX Linux, or Peppermint Linux, or any Linux distribution that's based on Debian, you're going to do it this way. Sudo apt install awesome, and you're going to hit enter. Going to put your password in. Gonna hit enter the yes, and we're installing the awesome window manager. And it's just gonna take a second. And should I probably shouldn't even pause the video. There it is. I didn't even have to pause the video. And I'm gonna close the screen. And I'm gonna log out. Let's log out. And let's go here, click on this icon. And so we have awesome down here. So I'm gonna click on the awesome and I'm gonna put my password in. And now I'm in the awesome window manager. And of course, I'm in the default Debian awesome window manager. And the default Debian awesome window manager has more um, functionality than the default Arch Awesome Window Manager. So for instance, if we right click here, I know it's small, it's hard to see. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna open up a terminal. And let's make that large print. And I'm gonna type in xrander 1360 and I should do a dash s first 1360 by 768 there we go that's a little better and let's clear the screen and oh yes so what I was showing is is that this default Debian Awesome Window Manager has a menu here, and still it's kind of small. But it has an interactive menu. So all the apps are in here. 
So if we click on Firefox, Firefox is going to open. And let's shut that down. And all the apps are in here. Let's click on, oops, let's click on HTOP. And it's kind of small, I know. You can't see that. So, like I said, it has interactive uh, mouse menu. Now, if you install the awesome window manager in pure arch or an arch based distribution, there will be this menu here, this right click menu, but it's going to be bare bones and there's going to be hardly anything in it. And the other thing is, is that when you add a new app in the default arch or arch based awesome window manager, when you add a new app, it won't automatically go. So, sorry, when you install a new app, it won't automatically go into the menu. But if you're using this default Debian Awesome Window Manager, it does go. When you download a new app, it's going to automatically throw it into this interactive menu. Okay, I think that's clear. So everything is pretty small up here and all that. Now what I'm going to do is, and also just in case you don't know, if you hit the uh, mod key and the P, it brings the menu at the top, and I know it's small, you can hardly see it. And once the menu is at the top, you can't use your mouse, but you could type in, let's say, F for Firefox. And it brings it there. And you just use your keyboard, right? And you hit enter, and it's going to open up Firefox that way. And of course, that menu is interactive in the sense that if you download a new app, it's going to automatically be installed in that upper menu. Now what I'm going to do is open up a terminal, which would be, well, you can use, you can use your key here. Let's open up a terminal, use your mouse and let's make that large print. And what I'm going to do is install my configuration file. So if you don't have my configuration files, you're going to do get clone HTTPS colon slash slash and I type that wrong colon slash slash gitlab dot com slash artibus one slash mench dot git and you're gonna hit enter and you're gonna download my GitLab repository if you want my configuration files and of course this command is in the show notes of all my videos in case you forget it or in case you want to copy and paste it now once that's installed you're going to cd into mench you're going to ls it and if you're in linux mint i would go into the debian one so let's cd into debian Debian folder, let's ls it. And what you're gonna do is, see this awesome folder here? You're gonna copy dash capital R awesome to tilde dash, sorry, tilde slash period config. I'm gonna hit enter. And you're going to close the screen and you're going to restart awesome. There you are. And now we have my configuration file in the awesome window manager. And everything's, you notice the bar went from the top to the bottom. It's nice, large print. I changed the format of the clock. Uh, and look at the menu. The menu is finely readable. And so if we click on Firefox, there's Firefox. Let's do HTOP. There's HTOP. Let's open up my Xterm. Ah, now Xterm is much better, much easier to read. Let's do NeoFetch. And, well, there it is. There's NeoFetch. Now, 
Um, just to note, in case you have not been following my videos and you're new to my channel, this menu is not interactive in the sense where if you download a new app, it's not going to automatically go in the menu. You're going to have to put it in there. Now, suppose you don't want my configuration file in there and you want to go back to the default one. You like it better. You could just do this. Mod key enter opens up your uh, terminal. Type in dot config ls it and you could delete this folder if you delete this folder this is my configuration file from my awesome if you delete it it's going to bring you back to the default debian configuration file or if you want to save it you could just give it another name so we could rename it and let's move awesome folder to awesome save let's clear the screen now see here it's called awesome save so now we're going to restart awesome and we're back to the default debian awesome window manager when i quit out of there let's quit Let's go back to Cinnamon. Put my password in. And now we're in the Cinnamon desktop of Linux Mint. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Linux Mensch.